Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reading Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, Chapter 32 by Grace Lynn. If you haven't seen Chapter 31 yet, I'll link it in the description down below. I also really want to apologize that I haven't been uploading um, these books because uh, I've been really busy doing some other projects that I've been uploading on this channel. Um, but again, I apologize for it and I'm going to start getting back on track to this book. Also, comment down below what other books you want me to read because I'd love to know what you want me to read. All right, let's get started. Chapter 32. We did it, we did it. The boy and girl laughed as they ran to each other and hugged. The boy, they both were younger than Min Lee. She realized that they were twins. Their round faces, dancing eyes, and pink cheeks were exactly the same. The gray blanket that the boy had used to help hide himself was thrown on the ground with their dimpled faces swollen with smiles and their matching bright red clothing. They looked like two rolling berries. Minley couldn't help but smile. As they laughed and congratulated each other, another voice full in the distance. Another voice called in the distance. Afu, dafu, the voice cried. Where are you? The children looked at each other. Akong? The girl said, and then together they called, Here, we're over here. A tall, gray-haired haired man burst into the clearing. A bag was strapped into his back, and in one hand he held a sword, and in the other a spear. As soon as he saw the children, both weapons clattered to the ground as they ran into his arms. Afu, dafu, he cried. We were so worried. We did it, Akong, the boy said. We did it. We destroyed the tiger just like we said we should. we would. Yes, the girl said. Our plan worked. We tricked him into the well, just like we said we would. You were not supposed to do that, the man said, he holding them tightly. We told you it was too dangerous. That's why we sneaked away, the girl said. We knew it wouldn't work. We knew it would work. We used his anger against him, just like you said we should. You said he was even angry at his son, and his anger would blind him, and it did. I didn't say you should do anything, the man said, kneeling with his hands on their, on both their shoulders. You were not supposed to go after the green tiger yourselves. You're not angry, right? The boy said. Now, no one will have to be scared anymore. We can let the animal out of the house and go outdoors again. Oh, Dafu, the grandfather said, hugging them again even closer. Ah, Fu. <laughs> and the name's Afu. Afu, as long as you're both safe, that is all that matters. When the gray-haired man saw Min Lee watching them, Ah, who is that? He said, beckoning Min Lee closer. Before either child could say a word, Min Lee rushed up with a hurried bow. Please, she said. My friend, the greed tiger injured him and he's hurt. And the grandfather quickly pushed the children off of him and stood up. Hurt by the greed tiger, he said. Take me to your friend quickly. It is lucky I brought the machine back with me. Dafu, get your blanket and give it to the girl. She's cold. The boy ran for his blanket, stopping the pickup torn fabric from his pants, and brought it to her. Min Lee wrapped the gray blanket around her. She was grateful for its warmth, but even more grateful that the man wanted to help immediately. How long was your friend injured? The man asked as she as he urged her to lead the way. After Min Lee told him, he shook his head. We must hurry then, he said. The green tiger is no ordinary beast. His teeth and claws are poison. Without the medicine I have, he will die before seeing the sunset. Minley swallowed hard and quickened her pace. The wind seemed to scream a warning, and even under the layer of Dafu's blanket, she felt cold. Would they be too late? Would they be able to save the dragon? All right. That was the end of chapter 32. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget to link down below what book you want me to read. I mean, comment down below what book you want me to read. I'd love to read it. Alrighty, guys. Stay tuned for chapter 33. Bye.